So what will you need for the refugees part of the application? You will need to read step one in the IMM 6000 guide to understand who is eligible to be sponsored. And then read step two to understand what the requirements are for completing the forms. The generic application and Schedule A forms will be completed online directly in the Permanent Residence Portal. Keep in mind that there is no way for sponsors to upload PDF versions of these two forms in the PR Portal. The Schedule 2, however, is still a fillable PDF form that can be uploaded into the PR Portal for submission. The Refugees ID documents, photos, and other supporting documents will need to be saved as digital files, which will be uploaded into the PR Portal application. These digital files will need to include any translations for documents which are not already in English or French. If you do not know how to combine the translated documents into the same digital file as the original document, you can watch the tutorial video on how to merge PDF files together, which is posted on the RSTP YouTube channel under the playlist called Permanent Residence Portal Training Videos. There is also a guide called PR Portal Uploading Files for PSR available on the RSTP website, which contains a listing of the common categories which you will use for uploading the principal applicant's supporting documents. Now let's take a look at what you will need for the sponsors portion of the application. In this training series, we will not be explaining how the sponsorship forms are to be filled out. However, you can refer to the appropriate instruction guide, which can be found by typing the appropriate guide number into Google, such as the IMM 5413 guide. And this is used if you are submitting your application under a sponsorship agreement holder organization, also known as a SAW. Community sponsor groups will use the IMM 2201 guide, and groups of five sponsors will use the IMM 2200 guide. You will also need to gather the necessary fillable PDF forms, such as the sponsorship undertaking form. And this is to be downloaded from the Permanent Residence Portal to your computer for completing offline and then uploaded back into the portal. For sponsors who are submitting under a SAW, you will need to ask the SAW primary sponsor which risk management plan option to choose for Section D of this form. If you're in Plan B or C, the settlement plan is generated within this same form to be filled out and uploaded to the PR portal. SAWs in Plan A will complete a separate settlement plan using form number IMM 5440, which does not need to be uploaded for submission in the portal, but it must be kept on file by the SAW organization in case Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, also known as IRCC, asks for it. Community sponsors have their own version of the Undertaking and Settlement Plan form to complete, which is the IMM 5663 form, as do groups of five who will use the IMM 5670 Undertaking and Settlement Plan form. A sponsor assessment form will need to be completed by each person who signs the Sponsorship Undertaking form and they will also need to provide a copy of their ID proving Canadian status or permanent residence. In the instruction guide, you will find a list of acceptable ID documents. And please note that a driver's license and health card are not acceptable for proving Canadian citizenship or permanent residence. Each person who signs the undertaking form We'll also need to provide a copy of their police check, which cannot be older than six months from the date of application submission. 
A criminal record check is the minimum requirement. However, providing a vulnerable sector search version is also acceptable. Financial profile forms must be completed by financial contributors who are pledging funds from their personal income. If these financial contributors belong to a group of five or community sponsorship group, or are a constituent group member or co-sponsor of a sponsorship agreement holder that is under Risk Management Plan B or C. The financial forms will need to be uploaded to the PR portal. SAWs under Risk Management Plan A, however, do not have to upload this form, but they may wish to have financial contributors complete it anyway in case the application undergoes a case review. That way, they can provide it to IRCC as proof documentation. Group of funds documents are also required and must be uploaded by group of five, community sponsorship groups, and SAWs who are working under plans B and C. SAWs under plan A should keep their proof documents on file in case the application undergoes a case review. When reading the guide, you will see this important information about the file requirements for uploading documents into the PR portal. In the next segment, we will take a quick look at how to prepare the files for uploading before moving on to explain how invited group members will access the PR portal. <music>